Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. In today's video we're gonna check out the Iken H9R 4K action camera. So before unboxing this action camera, I want to thank Banggood for sending me this awesome product. Banggood is a good website, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. The packing looks really nice, let me just take the camera out of the packet. So this is the Eken H9R action camera. This action camera comes with a wireless remote control which is waterproof. You can see the camera over here. This camera can shoot 4K Ultra HD. How cool is that? And it comes in wide variety of colors, you can see over here. It also comes with a waterproof case which is 30 meters water resistant and it has built in Wi-Fi. So let's turn around the box and see what's on the other side. These are the items that you get inside the box. A waterproof housing, handlebar mount, helmet mount, a charger, a quick clip and a battery. These are its specifications. It can shoot 4K at 25fps, 2.7K at 30fps, 1080p in 60 and 30fps and 720p at 120fps. It's got a 170 degree super wide angle lens, it's got built in Wi-Fi and comes with waterproof case, it's got 2 inch LCD and a 1050mAh battery. Ok now let's open the box and check out the camera and all the accessories that you get along with it. Wow just look at that, you get a lot of stuff in the box. And this is the H9R action camera. You can see the 4K Ultra HD and Wi-Fi logo over here. It comes in a waterproof case out of the box. The case looks good. It's made of plastic. Okay, let's keep it aside for now and check out all the other stuff you get in the box. This is the remote control strap and you've got your remote control over here. Let me just remove this cover. It's got two buttons with LED indicators, one for photo and other for video. And this is its manual. You get a lot of stuff in the box like handlebar mounts, clips, attachments, helmet mounts, straps, battery and a battery cover. It's a 1050mAh battery, a USB cable for charging and data transfer, a lens cleaning cloth and a manual for the camera. Holy smokes, just look at how many things you get in the box for just $50. This is the Eken H9R action camera. It's made of good quality plastic. Let me just peel this sticker on the lens. Wow, it looks so good. This is the power on button. This camera can shoot 4K and has built-in Wi-Fi. You've got your battery compartment over here. You've got two buttons at the side and a select or shutter button at the top with an LED indicator. And on the other side, you've got a USB and a HDMI port along with an SD card slot. This is a 2-inch LCD display. Let's just peel off this sticker on the screen. Wow, it looks nice. On the overall this camera looks good guys and it weighs around just 60 grams. This is the waterproof case for the camera. It's made out of plastic and has tough built quality. It is very simple to open and place the camera in it. Just like this. This case seals the camera very tightly. There is absolutely no chance of water entering into it. It also has external buttons to control the camera. They are of nice quality and the mount at the bottom can be changed according to your requirement. Ok, now it's time to power on the camera. Let's insert the battery in the camera and see if it's got some juice in it. It is very simple to install the battery, just like this. And you're all set to boot up the camera. Ok, let's hit the power button. The camera is on guys, and you can see the LED indicator glowing at the top. It says no SD card. I'll just insert my SD card and I'll show you all of its features. You can't use a normal micro SD card with these action cameras. Since they shoot in 4K, you need a card with fast read and write speeds. I recommend using SanDisk Extreme. It's a class 10 UHS-1 card specially designed for 4K action cameras. 
I've inserted the battery into the camera. Let's power it on. This is how the camera looks like. It's in 2.7K mode. This is a shutter button and you've got two buttons at the side. And this is your speaker. And over here you've got your mode button. Okay, now let's check out all the modes in this camera. This is a photo mode. This is a burst mode. And this is a time lapse mode. You've got your settings over here. Let's check out all the settings. These are the video resolutions 2.7K 30fps, 4K in 25, 1080p 30 and 60, and 720 in 120fps. These are your looping video settings on or off. Let's just keep it off. Timestamp, exposure, photo resolution. You've got different photo resolutions from 4 megapixels to 12 megapixels. Burst mode, time lapse, continuous lapse, power frequency, language, date and time, screen saver, power saver, format, reset and version. So these were its settings guys. That's all. This is the wireless remote control. It has two buttons and two LEDs. It has a perfect fit and works well with the camera. I'll just show you how simple it is to shoot photos and videos using it. This is the photo button and when you click it the camera takes a photo and this is the video button which can be used to start and stop the video recording on the camera. It works great and covers the distance up to 10 meters from the camera. Now let's go out shoot some nice footage and let's check out the video quality in all the modes. I fixed the camera on my helmet using a helmet mount and currently I'm shooting in 2.7K at 30fps. I'm actually really impressed by the video quality. The color and the detail in the video is good. In opposite lighting conditions you can see some lens flares. The sensor on this camera performs well in high contrast scenes and has good dynamic range. The camera does not have image stabilization in it. It has a super wide angle lens with 170 degree view. Overall the picture quality is good. The auto white balance in this camera does a good job. The bitrate in 4K and 2.7K is around 60 Mbps, so it's hard to find any compression or motion artifacts in the video. I have fixed the action camera to the crash guard of my bike to get a different viewing angle. Here you can see some rolling shutter effect on the shock absorber of the bike. I have taken few video clips with all the resolutions and frame rates from 4K to 720p. Just have a look at them. Hello.
Guys, this is a test for waterproof case. I shot this at an aquarium shop near my home. I just dropped this camera into a fish tank to check its performance. The company claims the waterproofing for this case is up to 30 meters. The video came out really nice and the white balance in underwater conditions was also good. This is a low light performance test. I took the camera out on streets at night to check the noise levels and image quality. As you can see the video has some noise in it but it's still usable. At the price of around 3500 rupees the image and video produced by this camera is really great. This camera is available on Banggood. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions just leave them in the comment section down below. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos.